welcome back to Bible Center, your source for all things concerning March Madness. I'm your host, Jay Hall. The results are in. Round one is over, and what a wild weekend it was. One could even say it was wilder than the demon-possessed pigs in Luke 8. I'll send you over to Ben Hogan right now to see how the lots were cast. Thank you, Jay. It definitely was a wild weekend. One might even say wilder than Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel chapter 4. We're going to be starting with our Old Testament pillars region, and just before we get started, I just want you to know that these winners were chosen by you. These winners were chosen by the votes that you sent in, and with our Old Testament region, we definitely had some fireworks, ladies and gentlemen. Our first matchup between David and Jacob was not that close. In fact, 100% of voters chose David over Jacob. With our second matchup between Noah versus Daniel, this was our biblical breakdown, and let me tell you what, it was a matchup of matchups. Noah received almost the exact same amount of votes as Daniel did, and Daniel received 51% of the votes, which you know means that Noah loses his first round matchup against Daniel, 51 to 49. Our next matchup between Abraham and Joshua was a great matchup. A great matchup between the father of the faithful and Joshua. And Joshua loses as Abraham receives 73% of the vote. In our last matchup in the Old Testament region, uh, we have Moses versus Elijah. This was, this was definitely a, Isaac's Cinderella matchup, but there was no Cinderella this time when Moses takes out Elijah by 80% of the vote. Now we have the wonderful women region with Mary and Sarah. This one was, again, not close at all. Sarah gets absolutely wrecked. Mary gets 88% of that vote. Now we have Ruth versus Hannah. Hannah's prayers were not enough. And 68% of voters voted for Ruth in that matchup. Now we got Esther and Rahab, as Emma so greatly coined it, princess versus prostitute. And the princess wins. Handedly by 82%. And lastly, in the Wonderful Women region, we have Deborah versus Priscilla. Deborah wins by a whopping 61% of the vote. And now as we go over here to the New Testament heroes, we have Paul versus James. And we had confusion over which James this was, but we definitely know it was James the Less after this matchup. Just kidding, it was the brother of the Lord, but he loses as if he's the Less. Because Paul wins by 94%. Now we have John the Baptist versus Stephen. Again, this was not really close. This was a great matchup, great men. But John the Baptist takes the win over Stephen. 65% of voters chose John the Baptist. And we have John versus Barnabas. Barnabas, great man. He's encouraging, but he loses handedly to John, the one whom Jesus loved. John receives 78% of that vote. And Peter versus Luke, a great matchup. But to conclude this, Luke got wrecked. Peter gets 82% of that vote. Josiah versus Abigail and the less known leaders. Abigail just really didn't have a chance in this one this, this year, folks. Maybe next year, Josiah wins 71% of voters. Andrew versus Dorcas. Dorcas, she rose from the dead, but she didn't rise this time because Dorcas loses. Dorcas loses 57% of voters chose Andrew. It was closer than the experts thought, though. Kayla versus Nicodemus. Nicodemus was my Cinderella story. Uh, well, actually, John the Baptist was. I was thinking about Nicodemus, but Nicodemus does not come close in this one. Jeremy was right. He could not come out during the day. Caleb wins 66% of the votes on that. And then our last matchup, we have Nehemiah and Lydia. Nehemiah versus Lydia. Again, her purple shop was wrecked. Jeremy was correct. And Nehemiah wins 67% of voters. Now remember, these votes are on you. You chose these winners. And as they continue on to the Sanctified 16 and on into the Elite 8, it's up to you to vote for them. Now let's go to Isaac as he breaks down your brackets. Thanks, Ben. Right here behind me, I have the beautiful bracket board in all of its glory. We had 66 different brackets sent in to us. That's one bracket for every book of the Bible. And we had two different categories of people sending in brackets. We just had your average March Madness fan, and then we had the Buford Youth Group send in brackets. So now looking at the average March Madness fan, we had one and only Todd Newman, one of our elders here at Buford. 
said that he had the winning bracket, but after one of his championship teams are gone, that's not looking so hot. But down to another elder at Buford, we have Lyle Owens, who had our only perfect bracket. And now on to the BYG. We had four people tied for first place in the BYG. We have Emma Claire Duncan, Colin Parker, Nick O'Connor, and Aiden Heilman, all with only one missed pick in the first round. But the rest of you, that doesn't mean you're out yet. So please keep voting, and we'll update these brackets live every day. Thanks, guys. Back to you, Jay. So there you have it, the Sanctified 16 are set. Now let's take a look at these new matchups. Even though Noah was knocked out in the first round, you'll notice some arc-sized showdowns in the Sanctified 16 this year. To start off, we have David versus Daniel and Colin Angel to stand beside me because things are heating up. From David's rooftop vantage point, it seems like Daniel could find himself exiled from this tournament after this matchup. In the Wonderful Women category, we see number three Esther take on number two ranked Deborah in a fight to save Israel. On one side, we have a queen willing to do whatever it takes to save her people. And on the other, we have Deborah willing to step up and lead the people herself. If I were to judge, I'm thinking Deborah takes this one home. As we get to the New Testament, prepare to go postal for these apostle face-offs. Who will win between John, between Paul and John the Baptist, and between Peter and John? Who knows? I'd put my shekel on a Galatians 2 rematch here, folks. And lastly, as we look at the less known leaders category, we have the tough decision between Caleb and Nehemiah and the matchup of Josiah versus Andrew. Who will spy out a victory between these four. Will Josiah and Nehemiah meet in a reconstruction rally, or will Andrew and Caleb prevail and have their voices finally heard? Vote now. And now for a new segment airing today, VBS Heroes, where are they now? And now it's time for Biblical Breakdown. We're here with the Biblical Breakdown. And last time you were with us, we had a great matchup between Noah and Daniel. 51 to 49% of the vote. We're looking forward to another great matchup between Deborah and Esther. Isaac, take it away. Yeah, so talking about De uh, Deborah a little bit here. When she's first introduced, Deborah's a prophetess. She has her own palm tree, which all of Israel would come and look to her for judgment. So you see right away that Deborah is very wise. She teams up with Barak and takes down all the Canaanites. So you see right there that she's very strong. She is the only female judge listed in the Bible. So you see right there that she's very unique. And then to close out her story, she writes a little song, a song we all know and love. It goes, that the leaders took the lead in Israel. Ben, you know that song, right? Great song. Go Great ahead and song. take it away with Esther. Today we're going to be talking about Esther. This is why I think Esther is the obvious choice on, on, on this biblical breakdown. Esther is the only reason that the Jewish race went on to give us Jesus, to give us the, the church, to give us everything we have today. And Esther saved the entire Jewish race from annihilation. When she stood up to the king, she stood up to Haman, she stood up to everybody and said, you can't do this. Uh, and she saved the day. We all know her story. And in fact... She is one of two women in all the Bible that get an entire book named after her. Mm -hmm. That's why I think Esther is the obvious choice in this matchup. And as we continue to, to break this down, it all depends on you to vote for who you think is going to win this matchup. It's been a great biblical breakdown. And back to you, Jay, as we conclude the episode. Thank you guys for that wonderful breakdown. Now it's time to vote for round two. The Sanctified 16 are depending on your vote. They cannot move on until the Eternal Eight without you. Voting is live now and will be until tomorrow at 10 a.m. Well, that's all we've got for today's show. Tune in tomorrow for the next episode of Bible Center.